So today we are grooming Mavonwi. Mavonwi is a eight week old Sphinx kitten. She's here today to get groomed because believe it or not, Sphinx are actually high maintenance and they do need to be bathed and cared for regularly. So she already had her front claws clipped yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip these back ones. She is extremely friendly. She will not stop purring. She's doing this little kind of coughing, breathing thing, which the owners are aware of, and she's already seen a vet for it. So if you see her doing that, there's nothing to be concerned about. The vet says that she is totally healthy. Um, let me see these little nails, Missy Miss. Little Mavonwi. Can you stay on your back for me? Stay on your back. You are a sweet little kitten. Yes, you are. What a good kitty. What a good girl you are. You're like a mega purr. I don't think I've ever seen a cat purr so much. These nails don't really need to be clipped. Oh. Oh. Look at her, she just wants to rub into me. Look at her, oh my God, you're so sweet. Yeah. Sphinx are actually one of my all-time favorite cat breeds. This is her first bath today, and she will be getting lots and lots of baths in her whole life. So let's see how you do this. Good kitty. Good kitty. This sponge was way too big for you. I seriously underestimated how freaking small you were going to be. Okay, it's okay. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna rub you up. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that sponge. So Sphinx have really, really wonderful personalities. They are unlike most cat breeds. They are extremely loving and affectionate. And one of the reasons why they are like that is because they don't have any hair. So they are often very cold. So they love snuggling up to their humans because their humans give them warmth, right? So that's one of the reasons, but they are just one of your naturally far more relaxed cat breeds than pretty well any, other, I'm not gonna say any other breed, but they're pretty high up there. Every Sphinx cat I've ever met has been just an absolute pleasure to work with. And I've met them in their home environments as well. And they're just such great cats. Oh, don't cry. Cold, but the water's nice and warm. The reason why these cats have to be bathed, they're, they're actually supposed to be bathed weekly, is because they don't have any fur, so the oils on their skin attract a lot of dirt and dust, and then it can cause kind of like blackheads all over their body where the dirt and dust will get stuck in their pores. So they actually do need to be bathed once a week in order to keep them clean. But the good news is that when you bathe them from a young age, they're very used to it, and most people do not have a problem caring for their Sphinx cats. Another thing is that their nail beds need to be cleaned out. You can either put them in a bathtub or you can use just a cloth or a wipe because their nail beds get the most dirty out of any other part of their body. So in between their nails, then you have to retract their claws and clean all of that. She's fairly clean, obviously, because she is brand new. Oh, okay, where are you going, ma'am? Yeah, it's okay. It's basically over. It's basically over. So I'm gonna take her out of here. This is just soapy water. Then I'm gonna just give her a quick rinse to make sure there's no soap sitting on her coat. I am using just a little bit of nasty critter today in here because that is safe for puppies and kittens. Okay, I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out. Just wanna make sure there's no soap on you, Missy Miss. No soap. Nice and clean.
Oh, you are so freaking sweet. I love the Sphinx. Maybe I'll get a Sphinx. Now I'm going to wipe her down with a hypoallergenic wipe for dogs and cats. As you can see, lots of dirt, grime, gunk coming out of her ears. So I noticed that her ears are still quite dirty, but I can only get them clean if she stays still. Sorry, they're gunky. Obviously you don't wanna to go too far down because you don't wanna go into the ear canal. And this isn't infection, this is just wax and dirt. Come here. They don't have the hair in their ears, kind of like people. Oh, where it prevents the dirt from going in. The owner just cleaned her ears out last night too. That's gross. doesn't like it, but she's so good. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this out with four Q-tips, I'm gonna need more. That's gross. Sorry. Cannot believe how much gunk you got in there. Okay, well that's a lot better than when you came in. So right before I was about to send her home, I realized that her nail beds were still dirty. So this is what I got out of her nail beds. All of this, that's one side and that's the other side. That's how dirty they were. I literally thought it was just the color of her nails and then I realized that it wasn't and it was actually all dirt. Getting a Sphinx cat is definitely a high maintenance pet. Don't think because they don't have any fur that they aren't high maintenance. Sure, they're not going to shed all over your house, Another important thing to note is that just because they don't have any fur doesn't mean that people who are allergic to cats won't be allergic to a hairless cat. They absolutely will be allergic to a hairless cat. These cats are not hypoallergenic. They still produce dander and protein in their saliva that people are allergic to. And because they lick themselves, that protein goes all over their skin and so can still cause an allergic reaction to people who are allergic to cats. Oh but you won't shed all over someone's house, and that is a plus. Miss Cute Kitten here is all finished. She did great for her first bath. Now her and I are going to have some cuddles. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Please don't jump down. Oh, you purry little thing. Oh, you're so loving. Oh. <laughs> okay, not everybody wants to see your butt. Not everybody wants to see your butt. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want a churu? I'm gonna go get you a churu. You don't like it? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days. Say bye, cute little thing.